I'm amazed that the Twins' plan with Buxton is basically going to play him two out of three games. So, in other words, he's going to lose, he's going to miss a third of the season, which is essentially what? I mean, it's, it's, it's about 55 games. He's going to miss about 55 games because they're going to preserve his health and make sure he's healthy. Number one, it's not like the Twins or the Yankees where they have a guaranteed playoff spot on a year-to-year -year basis. Okay, the Twins are that never does anything in the postseason and many a time is awful. So the idea that the Twins are going to fool around with 50 games, well, you know, we'll be okay, we'll work it out, we'll see in the postseason. What? They need every game they can get out of Buxton to make the playoffs. This is not some huge franchise that every year you know is going to be real good. So, I mean, that's the first thing. Second thing, they just gave him $100 million. They paid him a fortune. Wouldn't you think if you paid him this much money, you can at least maybe count on 130, 135 games? 140 games, something? That's number two that I can't understand. And number three, I don't want to hear Correa, all right? Correa's got way too much to say. He's killing the writers for getting on this. Get on me, because I'm telling you it's a dumb idea. You can never preserve, you can never prevent injury anyway. They try to prevent injury with all these pitchers left and right. They still come up with Tommy Johns every time you turn around. You know, a guy plays three games a week and he pulls a hamstring, he's out a month. You know, how come in the old days they all played? Gibson pitched, Marischal pitched, Koufax pitched, Lysdale pitched, Randy Johnson pitched, Pedro Martinez pitched. I mean, maybe. He's played, Aaron played. I mean, Griffey played. I mean, it, it really is. But now we got to manage load management nonsense, you know, to make sure he's good at the end of the day. What are the White, what are the Twins going to do in the month of September when they're in a pennant race with the White Sox and they can't play correct and they can't play Bucks in a couple of games against Chicago because it's his time to be off because they got to make sure he's healthy. Uh, what are we going to do in a playoff series? Not playing three games in a row? Because we don't want to get him, we got to be preserve him. I mean, sometimes you got to throw him out there, and you got to keep your fingers crossed that he stays healthy. And I understand he hasn't stayed healthy, but sometimes you got to take that chance. And again, Correa, I've had enough of Correa. First off, we all know what he did with Houston, so I, that's number one. And number two, it's not like Correa signed a 10-year long-term team-friendly contract. He's probably going to opt out after this year. So the idea that Correa right now is Tony Oliva and Mr. Twin is a joke. Nobody thinks that. He's played 20 games. Now he's going to sit there and say, I don't care anybody says you guys know anything about the Twins. I've been following the Twins for 55 years. And this is not the way you build winning teams. The guy's got to be out there and playing. And I understand Buxton's important. And I understand he's very good. I get all that. But you can't sit there and say, well, we're going to temper how much he plays because we can't take a chance. When you do that, then he gets hurt. Sometimes you got to go out there and you got to throw caution in the wind. And again, I'm, I'm, Correa, enough of Correa. He's always throwing his weight around. Enough of Correa. And I love Correa as a player. I don't know how many times i got to tell you that. But enough of Correa. That's number two. And he can say, if he has a problem, call me right here.